Chris Evans did an amazing job. Loved it. Loved every bit of it. I was really impressed by it. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. And this one right here is one that, you know, it's only right that I picked this one up too. I've been trying to get this one for a while, but it's very elusive. People are asking for a lot of money. And I was able to get this one for a steal, I think. This is the Thor Blu-ray Steelbook. And what, what I like about this one is that um, it's the 3D edition, which only the German and the uh, French one come with the 3D edition. But this is the this is two discs, so it doesn't have that third uh, that third part of the, this side of the case that's blocking the picture. So that's actually good. This is from uh, Hong Kong. So if you got the HMV UK steelbook of this, it's probably only got the 2D version. This one has 3D, so I'm looking forward to watching this in Blu-ray and in 3D. But really, really, really nice cover. Um, I'm going to watch this movie very soon, so I might as well open it really quick. Like I said, this is Hong Kong release, and what I like about it is that everything in the back you would expect to be in a different language. It's all in English. So really cool edition, really rare edition to get, but I'm happy overall that I got it. And uh, very black on the background. This Thor thing is uh, really shiny and embossed. The back, you got the hammer. This is my first time seeing it in person. And uh, it's all right. I like the cat one better, but one of the best steel books around definitely still. Uh, this one is the 3D, and this one is the 2D. I like the cover. This is the only one of the Avengers movies I haven't seen yet, so I can finally watch this one and start. I haven't even watched the trailer to Avengers. I've been ducking it so so bad because I don't want to, you know, I want to watch this for the first time first. So really happy about those two steel books. Love them. Highly recommend it. Glad to pick them up. Now let's get into the digi books. Um, some of these I picked up for a long, long time ago, so I'm glad to finally show them. First one I want to show is the Amadeus. This one is really thick. Saw this in, saw this as a middle schooler. Um, I remember liking it a lot. It's about Mozart. Really, really colorful, cool images in the background. Ah, oh, love digi books. This is the back slip cover thing. I really try to make sure that all my digi books come with this and that they don't miss them. This is the background art. It's just a really cool movie about Mozart as his life and his rivalry with another character. Loosely based on true story. And a really good movie. Good. It was a funny because they they uh, they uh, portray Mozart as like a clown. And uh, it's really funny, but towards the end it gets really dark, so I really like that switch. And uh, the back actually comes with the soundtrack, so that's going to be really cool. Listen to that eventually. Next digi book I got is The Green Mile. This is still sealed. Really, really nice digi book. I never really liked this movie. I think I'm one of the few who didn't think it was that great. Um, not to compare it to The Shawshank Redemption, which it was made by the same guy, but I, I just couldn't get into it. Uh, I thought it was kind of weird, uh, but I am willing to give it another shot. I'm not going to open it up right now, but it's a really nice digi book. Really hard. Uh, nothing is embossed, but really hard digi book. Nice, cool back. Comes with uh, really, really good special features. It's 32 pages, so it's just packed with stuff. Really nice design to it. Nice shine to it. And um, yeah, you know what? You know, I'm willing to give that another try. This is one that I never, I didn't want to get this this digi book, but I had to just because it's it's you know it, it's such a cult favorite and um you know a lot of people were telling me to get it get it get it. you got this one and I'm just not interested in watching the movie you know it's just it's a cult classic I've heard about it a lot throughout the years and it's a Rocky Horror Picture Show it's a good digi book you know if I wasn't a digi book fanatic I wouldn't have got it because um. It just seems a little too homo to me. I'm not really into, I'm just not into that type of, you know, style. I don't know. But I haven't seen the movie yet. I know it's a classic. It's sealed. So I picked it up. This is from um, 
Fox. I like the Fox Digibooks because the way they're packaged is really cool. But I'm not going to open this, but look at all those features. I mean, if anything, it's a cool to look at. It's just a nice Digibook. So, very happy to get that one. It's pretty slim. That's Rocky Horror Picture Show. I know a lot of people love it, but I don't know. I'm just not, not too enthusiastic to watch that one, though. But I'll check it out. The next one I got is Color Purple. This is probably one, this is the new, one of the newer ones I got. Um, really sticks out with the other ones because it's very colorful, really nice image. Wasn't really interested in seeing this movie either. I'm not really into racial or, you know, um, civil, civil type movies like this. But, you know, I was willing to give it a chance. Color Purple came out in the 80s based off the book. Steven uh, Spielberg movie. And uh, it looks interesting, you know. It's about four women, four black women living in the city trying to get by. Talking about what they go through. Really cool pictures. The, the pages feel really weird. I can't really describe them, but they don't feel like natural, uh, the usual paper. That's a good montage of scenes. Every picture, every page has that purple vibe to it, which is cool. Danny Glover. I like Danny Glover. Whoopi Goldberg. Oprah. You know? Should be interesting. I don't know. It might surprise me. I'm not really into these kind of movies. But uh, I'll give it a try. Here's what the back looks like. Really, really colorful pictures. Really nice looking digital book. Like I said, it, uh, it sticks out pretty good. So that's the color, color purple. I don't know what the color purple means in the movie, but I'll find out. Dr. Zervigo. Dr. Zervigo. This is the movie based off the Russian Civil War. Never heard about this movie until I saw it as one of the digi books that came out. And the more I read about it, the more I learn about it, the more interesting it seems. Um, a lot of people compare it to Gone with the Wind, um, which I love Gone with the Wind, but this is another epic movie. Uh, really, really famous in Europe. Really famous for the old time movies. Movie fans know about this movie. Very thick, super heavy. I don't know. Um, I don't know. There's like this this hump on the back. I don't want to. I don't want to um, open it right now, but uh, yeah, there's definitely a hump on there. I don't know if that's a, the soundtrack or what, but really interested in seeing this movie. It's usually not my type of movie, but it's got such a, a, an interesting plot. Um, this character, Dr. Zvigo, is a very complex character. Deals with the Civil War of uh, Russia. It's just, it sounds like a cool story. The trailer looks really cool, so I'm looking forward to watching that. If anyone wants to see what it looks like and what this disc is. I'm really curious to see what this thing is. It's, it looks like a, another disc right here. But anyone wants to know what the back looks like and what it looks like in the inside, let me know. I'll make a video on that. Next up, let's keep this going. Usual Suspects. Uh, another movie which I never really got into, but a lot of people like it. I like the design on this. I'm willing to give this another try. Really, really super slim uh, digibook. Probably one of my slimmest. But um, still sealed. Really good twist in this movie, but... Um, I don't know, I just didn't like it the first time I saw it, but I'll give it another try. Really cool digibook, though. This is one that I wanted for a long time, The Hustler. A really cool looking movie. I'm really looking forward to watching this. Jackie Gleason as a pool shark trying to hustle this kid, Paul Newman, who's an up-and-comer. It just looks like they go back and forth. This sounds like a really, really cool movie. I haven't opened this one yet, too. This is probably the one I want to see the most. It just looks like one of those cool vibe movies, man. Um, Epic, epic looking cover right here. Everything's black and white except his eyes. Yeah, there's some hustling going on in this one. A lot of special features. The trailer just looks so gangster. It looks so cool. I'm looking forward to watching that one a lot. Um, really slim as well. That's the Hustler. Next, I showed these two in my recent video. These are from Germany. This is AI and um, Independence Day. Um, like I said, this is the lenticular cover, so... It shows the uh, White House getting blown up if you tilt it. Really cool. If you guys want to see those in depth, check out the video I just made a few videos ago. I go into them further. Some of my favorite ones, though, love those digi books. Love German digi books. They know how to make good digi books. These next two are not traditional digi books, but they're, um, you know, they're uh, they're special. The first one is from Studio Canal. I've been trying to collect some Studio Canals for a while, but I've had to focus on other things but this first one I got is Ran from Akira Kurosawa I've been trying to get into Akira Kurosawa movies for a while I've seen Seven Samurai and Rashomon and I love them this is a movie based on um, the Spielberg movie Ran really cool these Studio Canal digi books are really unique in that 
Um, I'm not going to open this. I'm going to wait till I get a few more. I got another one coming. I'm not going to tell you which one. But they're unique in that inside is not really pages. They're more like, it's, it's, it's more of a book on the outside. On the inside, it comes with a little booklet that you open and you read. So I thought those were really cool. There's a, they, they have a, they're pretty much made in France. I got this one from the Australia because, uh, you know, um, I couldn't find the UK one, and the Australian is the only other one that comes with the English writing. Um, make sure when you get the studio canals that you get the English one, because they, they, they come in, you know, France and Italy as well, and all the covers look the same. So you want to make sure you get the one that has English language, or you won't be able to read it. This is region A and B. Really, really like this cover. I'm looking forward to watching that. I really want to get the studio canal of Mulholland Drive and Elephant Man. Those are the ones I'm dogging for right now. But... All in due time. This next one is definitely my rarest digi book. This is from Korea. This is A Bittersweet Life. This is a movie that I've been trying to see for years. Um, a lot of people talk about this being one of the best Korean movies ever. It's up there with Old Boy. You guys know I love Old Boy. And people say, if you love Old Boy, you gotta check this one out. I've been meaning to see this for a long time. Everyone's recommended this to me. They're saying it's so good. It's one of the best movies they've seen. I look forward to it. I was able to find this digi book from Korea, super rare. I couldn't believe I, I found it so cheap. Um, well, it wasn't cheap, but I, I can't believe I found it at all. But uh, I got this on eBay. It's brand new, sealed. I'm not opening it yet, but it's got such a cool vibe, um, such a cool cover, such a cool feel to it. It's like an extra thick. It comes with art cards. This is what the back looks like. It's basically a, a mafia gangster movie about the Korean mafia, but there's also so much goes into it. Um, that's just like a small piece of the movie from what I hear. I hear it, go, it deals with a lot of drama, a lot of uh, morality, and just a deep story. So I'm looking forward to watching that, A Bittersweet Life. Um, I'm probably going to make it my own, uh, its own separate video where I unbox this and show you everything that it comes with. But this is definitely one that I'm happy to get, A Bittersweet Life. Like I said, it comes with art cards, tons of info, and I think it's region free as well. So definitely one of my new favorite digi books in my collection it's it's got some weight to it it just i can't describe but the feeling just feels so good it's got like a, a really nice feel to it so bittersweet life that's the last digi book i got oh my digi book collection is getting up there man just need a few more i want to get um i want to get uh malcolm x and uh to kill a mockingbird but um i don't know maybe i'll pick those up in a week or two but so far this is what I got I'm really happy with it now uh, let's get into the Disney one